Hello guys, welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be doing a video on how to set up a hamster cage. But first, I'm going to be going to PetSmart to get my hamster some bedding. So let's go. Okay guys, so unfortunately I couldn't take you guys into PetSmart. So I am going to show you what I got her for today's video. Since I'm going to be cleaning the cage today, not for the video, I'm going to be showing you guys what you guys need for a hamster cage setup. Um, so I'm let me grab this. I can't. Hold up. It's kind of heavy. I got her the Carefresh Special Edition um, sprinkles. It's really, really cute. I love the coloring and I wanted to get this. Here, let me get this to focus. There you go. As you can see, it's really colorful. It's got sprink. No, sprinkles. And then I ended up going to Walmart and I got myself some sweet tart soft chewy ropes i absolutely love these i think i dropped one either i dropped it or i ate it i don't know but yeah so i'll see you guys once i get home and once again this is what i got my hamster okay guys it already has been a couple hours since i have gotten home and now i'm going to be showing you guys how to set up a hamster cage but before we move on with the video i just wanted to tell you guys that the rest of the video is going to be me doing a voiceover so let's get started Okay, so here I have a 800 square inch um, bin that I turned into a bin cage. And obviously that is the first thing you need when you are going to be getting a hamster. The next thing you obviously need is bedding. So here I have Carefresh Special Edition Sprinkles. And it has um, the colors, I think it has a little bit of blue, purple, pink, as well as yellow. And I absolutely love the coloration. So I decided to insert a little clip of my hamster trying to escape. She's so cute. I absolutely love her. Um, it is quite annoying that she does this, but she's so cute. So this is what the bedding looks like inside of the cage. It looks really pretty, and I love the colors. And um, it's not as deep as I usually have it because since uh, Carefresh doesn't expand as much as uh, KT, um, I only decided to put a little hill in the corner because I didn't want to use literally the entire bag. Um, I usually tend to use um, the bags for two cleanings. Okay, guys, so another thing you're going to need for your hamster are heights. So here I have a KT hut that um, I put a bunch of bedding inside just in case she decides to sleep there so she can stay warm. Then I have candle holders. Here I have a turquoise one, which is really cute and pretty. And then I also have a flower-shaped yellow one. Here I have a Kleenex box that I also turned into a hide. And then over here I have a shoe box that I put most of the bedding into. And I also put a bunch of little tunnels and holes so that she could go in and out of there. And that's where it is the deepest, where she can stay warm. And here is the KT hide again. And these are the amount of hides I have. So you're also going to need wheels or spinners. Here I have a, a nine inch wheel for my hamster. Um, since my hamster's on the smaller side, she does not bend her back when she's running on it. So it is safe for her. And then over here, I have a spinner. It is seven and a half inches. She used to use this when she was smaller and she still likes using it, but she doesn't use it as much anymore. So obviously one of the main things you're going to need for your hamster is fresh food and water. Always keep the food and water as fresh as possible all the time. A sand bath is necessary because unlike dogs and cats, hamsters can't actually take showers in water because it'll ruin their coats, take away oil, and it'll also cause them lots of stress. So the best option out there is to get a child's play sand or reptile sand. Okay, so the last thing you're going to need for your hamster are chews. Here I have an orange one and a yellow one. And you're also going to need toys. My hamster doesn't really like toys, so I just put tubes, and she absolutely loves running in and out of those. And she mainly likes running on her wheel. As you can see here, she chewed on this tube. Um, and this is also a tube that my sister made for her. So it depends on your hamster, mainly. Here is a montage of the cage. This is me putting back my hamster in her cage.
The next few clips are gonna be clips of my hamster exploring her new cage. She's so adorable. sorry for my messy hair but thank you guys for watching hope you guys like subscribe and click down on the notification bell to be notified every time i post new videos thank you guys for watching bye